Diallo. Janet. Doherty on the overlap. Doherty delivers the ball in. Ooh, with that. I thought he was going for the cross uh, uh, originally, Mikhail, but uh, it turned into a uh, shot on the end of it. Yeah, I say, like, with, with this one, why not have a go like it? But I, I'd say that was a cross there, <laughs> to be brutally honest. But it's been a cagey enough of uh, opening from Shelburne, you know, they're sitting in and they're sort of inviting Derry on them, which, you know, as we know, when Derry get under the rhythm, they can be hardly stopped. So it's been an interesting start for them. A bit of pressure from Harry Wood. Really? Really look left and he's found Michael Duffy. Duffy heads it under the path. Or sorry, it was Ben Doherty under the path of Duffy. Shouts a handball from the Derry players and the supporters over and block K. Matt Given says the referee. And Harry Wood can try and bring it away despite the attention of Paul McMullen. Slipped under the path of Wolf Patching. Patching just shifted on to his left foot. Duffy does get a shot. Get a parry away, and then there's a handball by Mark or by Duffy in the process, and that's going to be a free out for Shells. Good bit of pressure from Derry there. Yeah, it was really good pressure. You know, Derry starting to get their tails are up here at the minute. And they're realising that if you put Shelburne on there, a bit of pressure here, they're going to want it high up. This is the first handball. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Even from there's that. one for the Stados. <laughs> it's Harry Wood trying to find Jarvis, but Dummigan cuts it out. Finds O'Reilly. O'Reilly under a bit of pressure now. Plays it back to Shane McAlaney. Brian Mark, oh he's just found JJ Lunny with that clearance. Oh Diallo with a late tackle and Diallo they're straight away the referee goes for the back pocket. And off Sadie Diallo goes with 24 minutes gone. It was a bad tackle and end up we will see it now on the replay. But the referee Rob Hennessy, I was just talking about how poor Derry's record are with him uh, officiating in games, but he made no mistake, he just reached immediately into the back pocket and Sadio Diallo will play no further part in tonight's game. You can just see it's a poor clearance from Brian Maher in the end up as JJ Lunny picked it up just inside the Shells half. He played it forward. I think it's Shane Farrell. Yeah, and Diallo just with a sliding tackle. And Jack Moylan straight away over to remonstrate with the referee. But... Rob Hennessy isn't going to change his mind and uh, Sadio Diallo will play no further part in tonight's game. Yeah. Again, Shelburne try and bolt from the back. Paddy Barrett slips it in to Jack Moylan. Moylan does get a shot, but it's just wide of the target. And Brian Maher can breathe his savoury as he was sort of scrambling over to his right-hand side. But Jack Moylan's the last person you want to see Really from a Derry point of view, inside the 18-yard box, finding a yard for himself. Really good centre-forward play there, you know, a great first touch and turning McDonough there and getting the strike away. It was unlucky that they get a coin strike there. You know, everything's play. comfortable for them now, you know, you can see the possession there, like it was 61%, as you would expect, but they just have to see what they can do with it now, you know, it's just passing a right for Derry to elapse some concentration and then get on. But Derry are so deep here and it's... Harry Barrett has an effort so from Dustin So, and I tell you what, that stung the palms of Brian Maher as he got down to his left hand side just to palm the ball away. And that's going to be a corner kick to Shelburne. As Paddy Barrett totally shaped himself and he really got the laces behind it. And Rory Higgins telling Jordan McAniff and Patrick McElhinney to have a word with one of his assistant coaches. So they will be entering the fray very, very shortly for Derry City. Cameron McJanet with a long ball over the top, allowing Paul McMullen to give chase. Oh, <laughs> I tell you what, that is, that's outside the box. Yeah, yeah. even Dan, our technical man, has seen it as well too. I thought that Connor Cairns had come far too far outside yeah. his box. Mm -hmm. And that, the ball, Connor Cairns. Well, his foot was outside, he's definitely outside. <laughs> definitely outside. Duff is looking for them to come tighter. There's Paddy Barrett with a great ball over the top, and Farrell this time breaks the defence, gets a shot on target. And I tell you what, Brian Maher had to be ever alert in that instance as he palmed the ball away. But certainly, Shelburne asking all the questions at the moment of Derry City as they look to get three points on the board and close the gap between themselves and tonight's hosts. There is five points separating them at the moment. 
And Damien Duff will be looking to close that day too if they can't and play with the advantage of the extra man. As Jack Morning gets on behind the Derry defence on this occasion, uh-huh. and the referee, much to the delight of the Derry fans, says that there was a hand in the process, and Jack Morning will not be accredited with a goal that's going to be a free out for Derry City. You should be able to see from the replay here, Mikai. That was Shane Farrell. He got the cross under the box. And Moylan. He just got in behind Cameron McJanet. And uh, I can't really see from that instance there. But Shane McElhinney immediately coming across. They say that there was uh, a hand involved. The score remains Derry City nil. Shelburne nil. Malloy. Wood goes for the shot. That's just why Brian Myers operates. And, uh, there. <laughs> the referee Rob Hennessy receives booze in front of us here. Uh, and the Mark Farron stand as both sets of players make their way to their respective changing areas. Uh, it was a game without incident in the first half, as we mentioned, and they certainly had their backs to the wall in the second half.